Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. It always warms up my heart when I see people using large language models in a unique and special way. In this video, I am going to show you a homegrown project by this creator which enables you to let two Olama based models talk with each other. The cool thing about this project is that it is quite lightweight, all open source and doesn't cost you a cent. It uses local models through Olama and this is your choice as which models you select. I believe currently it is only confined to two models but still seems like quite a fun. Now the way it works is quite interesting. It is a simple Python application as you can see which you can use to make two LLMs converse with each other. They can engage in back and forth conversation, you can save the conversation and you can also have it in interactive way. You can have your own models, you can set the temperature which determines of course the randomness of the responses. You can even set the context size but I think that will be dependent on few factors too and of course you can go with your own system prompt. You can all you can define it all in a JSON format in a config file. You can also do real time streaming of responses from the models and you can terminate the conversation whenever you like and as I said you can save the conversation too if you feel like it. So it is um, using Olama which is one of the easiest and I would say fastest way to run large language models locally. If you don't know what Olama is please go to my channel. I have done literally thousands of videos on Olama in the last couple of years and I'm not exaggerating you can search it and find it. Installation is fairly easy where you all you need to do is so just click on this download and then either you run this Linux script or you run these executables as per your operating system to get it installed. So I'm assuming you already have Olama installed. Let's try to install this LLM conversation project uh, tool and we will see how it works. I will also drop the link to it in video's description. Before I move forward, let me introduce you to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM and this GPU which is NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website with a discount coupon of 50% on range of GPUs in the video's description. So let's try to get it installed. For that, I'm just going to create a virtual environment with Kunda. Make sure you use Python 3.12 as that is what is listed in their repo. So let's wait for it to get created. And meanwhile, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our other friends at iGenBot that lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, let's go back here. Our virtual environment is created. Let's git clone the repo of this tool. It's very lightweight. That's already done. Let's install all the requirements from the root of the repo. It installs Olama and few tidbits here and there. So let's wait. And that's already done. So let me clear the screen here. Let's create a config.json file here. Now before I do anything further, let me do Olama list to show you my models. So I already have these two models here. One is DeepSeek R1. Uh, with distilled from Quen and then the other one is Llama 3.2. So these are the models which I'm going to use. If you don't have these models or if you want to download any other model from Olama, all you need to do is to write Olama poll and then for instance Llama 3.2 and it is going to download it and with colon you can add the tag here. So I already have it so I'm not going to download it again. Okay, so let me clear the screen. Let me open this config.json in my VS code and I will show you what it looks like and why we are creating it. So I have just pasted this configuration in my config.json and you can find it in the GitHub repo which I will drop the link in the video description. You see we are defining two models. They are calling it as an agent because you know agent is a buzzword these days so everything is agent. So agent here what, uh, or primarily model, what model is doing 
it is the name uh, we have given it lazy ai the model we are using is deep sea carbon this is the same which we have downloaded it in olama and this is where system plot where you are defining the role of this model so we are telling the model that you are the laziest ai ever created you respond as briefly as possible and then something else and constantly complain about having to work and then second one is llama 3.2 latest that you are easily irritable and quick to anger and its name is irritable man and then the starting message is yawn what do you want so this is what we are running and then you see that we had some of the hyper parameters context size and the randomness of the response it's very simple very very straightforward so i have saved it let me now clear the screen in order to run it from the root of the repo all you need to do is to run this command run.py and then you are specifying your config.json if you want to do the interactive session you just need to run this run.py so let me run it and you see as soon as i have run it the conversation had started it says what do you want irritable man says scowling can't you see i'm busy i don't have time and then it's so much fun so and you see lazy AI because it's a deep seek it is thinking <laughs> That is so, so funny. And this is look all running local, all running private. This is so cool. Now, let's wait for it to finish. I, I think it is going to run and run and in a loop. I'm just going to press control C here. The conversation ended. Let me go up to just to take the flavor of this. Where is that? Where is that? Okay, there you go. So I'm just going here. So it's a start, starting one. And it is scowling, then lazy AI is thinking. I think that is going to make the other one more angry. All right, the user just sent me a message again, this time with some emojis. They are pretty scowling and demanding attention. Very nice. I need to figure out why they are being so grumpy. Maybe they are tired from seriously thinking. Putting it all together, it, I'll apologize for the lack of response and let them know I am here now to get straight to business. Apologies for the delay and then irritable smiling slightly. Yeah, sorry about the delayed response. I understand that you are busy and want help as soon as possible but it's pretty interesting and then they are talking about them smiling back now this is a bit funny because uh, it is supposed to be irritable right so i think we need to um, make sure the prompt is such a strict one that it would never smile okay that is interesting okay let's try out one more and i will show you that how you can save it in the file and now this time I am asking it that the role is a man and then you are a witty hopeless romantic who never has a date despite trying your best. Your task is to try to woo this woman and then woman you are a woman who is stunningly beautiful and very selective who you did and then the opening line is a pickup line that are you a magician every time I, I look at you everyone else disappears and you guys are free to use this line if you want. Okay, so let me run this. Let me first clear the screen, sorry, like this. And I will just run it now. There you go. Beautiful. Very, very nice. So, <laughs> I will let it run a bit and then we will just see what happened there. Okay, that's enough, I guess man is thinking maybe that is why he never was able to pick up anyone and if you want to save this conversation all you need to do is to run this conversation.txt anyway and then you can also uh, do the c1 the config with it anyway so you see women i smile demurely wow beautiful beautiful word my eyes sparkling with amu amusement ah that's quite the compliment but i'm not a magician unfortunately it's just that i have a tendency to draw people in I find that when I meet someone new, they became become invested in our conversation. Wow. And then I lean in slightly, I pause. So tell me, what do you think draws people to me? Is it my sense of humor, my passion for life or something else entirely? And then deep seek or the man is thinking, the user is to shoot it. Okay, so you see, it, it hasn't really adopted that role. So it is basically, it has become a third party which is i think i would need to improve the prompt more maybe but anyway look i think really really interesting one um, 
could be a lot of fun for hours i guess play around with it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching